Welcome back to Dark Corner Streaming. With 1959's House on Haunted Hill, which you can find on YouTube, William Castle, king of the low-budget shocker, breathed new life into the creaky old dark house movie by keeping his tongue firmly in his cheek. Now, don't tell me you're taking all this seriously. Aided and abetted by star Vincent Price. There'll be food and drink and ghosts, and perhaps even a few murders. You're all invited. Who asks us to join him and his guests spending a night in a haunted house, making the audience part of what follows, something at which Castle excelled. Well, if I were going to haunt anybody, this would certainly be the house I'd do it in. The plot is little more complex than that. Price's millionaire, Frederick Lauren, has invited five apparently random people to spend a single night in a haunted house. Four men have been murdered in this house, and three women. Each receiving $10,000 if they make it through the night, while he and his wife have a little game of their own going. You remember the fun we had when you poisoned me? This is less a movie and more a fairground ride, and I don't mean that as a bad thing. I think that's exactly what Castle was going for, to make the movie version of a carnival haunted house. With no curtain left unfluttered, no candle left unflickered, and no cliché left unexplored. The doc thinks he's going to try and kill one of us. If it was being presented as serious horror, then it would be laughable. Fortunately, it's meant to be laughable, but that laughter puts you at your ease, so it still has the power to make you jump. Key to this approach is the casting of Price, and I do think this wouldn't work without his unique gift for taking this sort of film seriously without it ever becoming serious. But we have some party favours for you in these little coffins. The film does lose momentum when people start talking and trying to figure out what's happening to them. I'm not afraid of your ghosts, Bridget. But I am afraid. Made worse by the lack of engaging characters amongst the guests. Although Carol Omart as Annabelle Lauren is a standout, sparring impressively with Price. Of all my wives, you are the least agreeable. But still alive. But Castle was a smart enough entertainer not to let his picture get bogged down too often, keeping the hokey shocks coming. Until you wonder how Carolyn Craig managed to keep her voice for all that screaming. Building towards the film's most famous scene. It wouldn't be a William Castle film without a gimmick, and in theatres, this scene was accompanied by a process called Emergio, in which a plastic skeleton popped out of a box by the screen and swooped over the audience. Because, remember, we're guests in this house as well. They're coming for me now. And then they'll come for you. The wonderful thing about cinema is that it can do the seventh seal or Citizen Kane, and it can also do this. And you're allowed to love both. Thanks for watching. What are your favourite William Castle films and what Castle-esque gimmicks would you add to modern horror films? Let us know in the comments below.